Hey everybody, it is Toronto Unicorn and R. And we are backyard barbecuing, Woo! aren't we? Now, who is the sexy bitch doing all the meat work? That would be me. Hey, just like every other DTF night. <laughs> I provide the meat for you this time. I get to sit back, I get to enjoy. Sometimes I get a taste. I mean, how is this not perfect? So You're not working for your meat this time, that's no. for sure. <laughs> but you know what? We are having a very fun afternoon in the beautiful spring, nice weather. Um, making some nice juicy meat and we're gonna have a little girls barbecue so yeah so we're gonna keep the camera on a little bit hopefully you capture some of the conversation and oh, I do have a cooler uh, that, that vodka and coconut. do you want to get drunk off half a cooler like we used to when we were 13 do you want to do that <laughs> I could totally do that we'll get some glasses wait do you know what I first started drinking was old English do you know what that was no it is a 40 ouncer it was three dollars and 85 cents and it was disgusting malt liquor but it it was alcohol and it was what i could afford as a young drinker and i remember me and my friends would take swigs and like the other while well, people are adjusting to the swig the other one's taking the swig that's how i started drinking alcohol and the funny part is i ended up taking a mixology course and becoming a bartender because I thought there's gotta be a better way than this, man. Like I was like, there, you, it simply can't suck going down, or I'm not gonna drink it. And so that's why I became a bartender. That's very funny. Mm -hmm. I used to underage right. drink too. Oh, oh, that surprised me. It sounds like you did a lot of terrible things when you were younger too, just like me. But we used to do something different. I remember we weren't a, we weren't a house of drinkers, so you know you had like one vodka, maybe a rum for when you know you had guests come over. Well, I remember a certain grade nine ski trip where we decided I was gonna bring vodka. And so what I did is I took the vodka Mickey and I emptied some of it into a separate container and then filled it up with water so okay. that the level didn't appear like anything had gone. Oh, and of like course, every kid had not figured that out. So <laughs> years later, my uncle came over and he wanted a drink and we fixed him a drink and he's like remarking on how, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't taste like alcohol. It tastes very watered down mm -hmm. and I'm like, that's the same Mickey that we had. <laughs> Some parents, they're still so naive. They're like, this just doesn't taste right. They're teenagers. I'm like, they're, they're not putting it together. Like, I'm like, of course they drank your booze and filled it up with water. Like, of course they did. But some parents are like, I don't know. I guess it's gone bad. And they're like, you <laughs> yeah, know, must be that. <laughs> I'll dump it out. We'll get a new one at the store. You know, it's all good. That's funny. <laughs> but yeah, no, I, I, I drank a lot of beer too. Like my friends and I would get a 2-4. We go in on a 2-4 together. Oh. That's a meat flip. All right, well, let's go watch this action. Check out the marks on this meat. Can't wait to put that in my mouth. Wow, oh my gosh, nice job. <laughs> Look at them steaks. Hopefully a nice medium rare. Finishing with salt. All right, plate up. Okay. Which one you want? I want that big giant one. This guy, the big meat. Wonderful, thank you so much. Freaking juicy. And your HP sauce is there. Yep. Your vagina's gonna be very sore. Like very well pounded, you know. Well, look, when, you know, usually a day in between is good refractory time, you know, too. Mm hmm. It is actually. Americans don't have this. Things are sound. This is my favorite steak sauce. HP. Help your sauce. There's, there's a bowl here for salad if you wanted to separate. Oh, wow. Okay. It's wow. Fancy, fancy. fancy. Yeah. It's like extra dishes and stuff. I mean, that's like really fancy. I, I wouldn't know. even, I'd be like, do you really need a plate? <laughs> it would be really fancy if I gave you another fork, too, but oh, we're, not, we're not there. Well, maybe for dessert. Okay. Let's try one of these potatoes. Mmm. Lots. It's cooked well. It's cooked very well. You look very vanilla world today. Don't I? With my shirt done up to my neck? Yep. No cleavage. No pussy showing. Nothing. What kind that of was yesterday. Day? <laughs> that was yesterday. Yeah. See, I'm capable of living in vanilla world. This is my favorite steak sauce. Mmm. The Diana's? It is. I put Diana's on a lot of things. A lot of people love that steak sauce, too. It's nice to have a normal vanilla day. It's weird. Mm-hmm. Just your normal things and... Don't show your boobs to people. It's weird. Especially when we're together. Mm -hmm. I'm just so in love with this meal. It's really, really good. And it's like made for me. And I'm like feeling the energy of like your generosity. So she actually had a booty call. And she said like it felt good. She's glad she did it. Yeah. But it was a straight up booty call. Like 15 minutes. 
and then he literally like got stopped and then wanted to go home. So. Yeah, wow. All right, we have DTF coming up. Can't wait. In a couple days. I'm already in DTF. Yeah? What's exciting to you? I don't know nothing anymore. Yeah, well, I'm walking to the fucking done it all club. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Like, you need to fuck yourself. You need to step in ready. Mm-hmm. Okay? You want to please their dicks, you know? You need to step in ready. Yeah. With a condom. Whatever. This is literally the opportunity for those men with standing there with a condom already on. This is their moment. Yes. Do you know that there is a genre of porn called wrong hole? Is there really? And it's the moment when they accidentally go into the wrong hole and the girl's like... Or I, I had hand. a moment like that with uh, Mr. W. Oh, really? Well, was, I would have been an accident, but yeah, yeah, exactly. And like literally like screeches and all this stuff. It's kind of funny. Well, thanks for coming to the dinner part of this. We're going to go and have some relaxing time out on the terrace. The terrace. I literally, when I was out there alone for the first, first few minutes, at one point thought, can we get a track with less birds? <laughs> <laughs> it's real. It's, it's real. And you, I had, literally thought that. I was and like, you oh. yelled at my birds once when we were on the phone. You're like, can that bird shut up? I'm oh, like, yes. okay, the bird is somewhere way over there. Yeah. It just sounds very loud in my microphone. But I remember at one point, that's how city living I'm at, where I'm like, oh, is that the tape that you're really listening to of nature? Can we pick a different nature tape? I know, and I was like, it's, this is nature it's, live. It's, I was going to say, it's a live track, baby. <laughs> I was so confused for a second. That's funny. So this is actually one of my traditions from my childhood that I had to do today. It is a chocolate eclair, basically a pastry with a little dipped in chocolate and some whipped cream on the inside. And I actually really like these. So it's going to be like hometown memories. Mm. 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 A lot of jizz coming out mm -hmm. of it. Lick it up. Mm. Wow. That's good. Anyways, thank you. <laughs> Ooh, mm -hmm. You got creamed. <laughs> so this is some sort of chocolate truffle delight of... Mm. Mm. Oh my god, it's so good. I'm really rich. I don't know if I can eat more than one bite. Really? Wow. wow.